Hey guys, choosing an aquarium substrate is a topic that might be a little bit more complicated than it sounds sometimes to you. So we're going to go through a few things you need to think about. Now when you think about it, there are sands, there are uh, substrates for plants, there's fine coral sand for marine tanks, there's coarse gravel, other types of fine gravel, there's colored gravel, there's all kinds of stuff out there. So you need to think about it. Now when it comes to a marine tank, obviously we can just get that one right off the plate because there you're going to go usually with a fine reef sand, especially for a tank with corals or a, or a reef setup, you're going to want to uh, definitely go with a fine marine sand, coral sand. That's typically the way to go and preferably live sand of course helps uh, establish your tank in some more natural substrate. Now, um, when it comes to freshwater fish, you've got fine gravels, coarse gravels. Well, typically fine gravels, you'd want to make for sure, first of all, that it's not a sharp edged type of substrate. If you're going to keep bottom dwellers, very important with barbells, those fish need to be able to get their food more or less at the top part of the substrate, and you don't want to damage them with any, sh any sharp edge. Coarser gravels are more for tanks with bigger fish. Uh, for example, South American cichlids, Central American cichlids, big predatory catfish, things like that. They come from environments often where there is kind of a uh, coarse gravel bed. And in that situation, it's more of a, of a natural substrate. Sand, of course, can be too, but can be a little bit messy with some bigger fish when you have sand getting into filter systems and things like that. How are you keeping plants? Now there we have something called fluval stratum. That's a great substrate for plants because it allows the plants to root easily into the bottom and it actually looks really natural, presents a, a great bottom for green plants against the darker volcanic uh, substrate. Just looks fabulous in a, in, a, in a planted aquarium. So there you go. There's a number of points to consider and before I forget one that I was just thinking of, water chemistry. Natural gravels can often impart carbonate hardness to the water and if your water is soft your pH can rise pretty pretty drastically because of it so you want to make sure that if it's important in soft water setups to maintain something that is akin to what the natural water conditions are make sure that uh, your gravel is something like silica sand or doesn't affect pH or carbonate hardness very much. So there you have it plenty of different things to think about in some instances that may help guide you. Thanks for watching.